Namaste, Mitron. Welcome back. You said it wrong. I did not. Welcome back to Movie Community College. Maranam Tishhe, the Warrior Queen. So when I was on the phone uh, with uh, with the uh, the company in India, mm -hmm. what did he say Ramayan was called? He said it was called um, Ramayan. Ramayan. That's, that's exactly how he said it. And we were like, Because hmm. I asked him who his favorite character was in Ramayan, and he said, I'm not familiar with that. Right. And so you said Ram, Sita, and he said, oh, Ramayan. And it would be the protagonist, And he, he said. said, you pronounce it Ramayan. And we were like. I've never heard that. I've never heard anybody. Shubham. Is that true, Shubham? Like, nobody in the comments has ever said it should be pronounced that way. So, I don't know. Some dude said he was the first to answer, and Shubham was like, nope uh i i even beat the professor okay so when i was going through the comments the other day i love day, shubham shubham i love you son um when i was going through the comments the other day you know there are a lot of new people um watching our videos three million new people but that means that there are also some trolls who are watching the videos mm -hmm. and new trolls or old trolls? new trolls and this troll um said how there's nothing interesting about this video it's not even worth watching why are you watching? But he took the Bo time Bo to watch and comment. And I'm like, okay, whatever, troll, go back under your bridge. So we have a Carolina Goswami <laughs> video. Yes. And this is, I think, China's response to the digital strike. Digital Ooh, strike. Oh, nice. Okay, let's watch. Cue it up. Come on. Are you, you're right there. Hit play. Hit. Oh, I'm you. I've got to do dude. You're everything. Gonna have to do this. Yes, you are. Many experts believe that it is a risky move, but it appears that China wants to demonstrate how powerful it has become by fighting on multiple fronts with multiple nations. For security reasons, India has banned many Chinese apps, but it seems that China just can't stop yep. provoking India. It appears that China is either confused or it is trying to be too cunning. On the one hand, Chinese government mouthpiece talks about economic conflict and economic war against India, and on the other hand, Chinese embassy issues statements such as these expressing how worried it is about jobs and entrepreneurship yeah. in India. Before issuing such statements, shouldn't China understand that it's if it is really concerned so about the Indian doing? entrepreneurship scenario and about Clean the livelihood ears. of Indians, then it should actually support mm -hmm. Make in India. Just how many Indians and the Indian government officials had opened their accounts on Chinese apps Maybe now Chinese embassy <laughs> and other Chinese <laughs> officials can start joining That's Indian great. apps. <clears throat> this way, they will be there truly able to support Indian entrepreneurship. The Chinese government should also consider creating their profiles on Indian apps, and they can also invite yeah. the Chinese citizens to do the same. Later on, <laughs> just like TikTok, <laughs> what, what are they doing? What is this like? And what is this like Bollywood in China? What is this? Honey, and trying to Chinese listen to Carolina. Who want to express themselves by dancing or lip syncing <laughs> on Good Indian for her. Apps. She's right. Sounds Absolutely. It does sound fair. Honey, <laughs> I'm trying to pay attention to Carolina. Government mouthpiece was Go over there. India on how the ban of 59 apps can lead to India's technology and internet startups losing Chinese investment. Some in India's tech industry were actually celebrating oh, the ban of the Chinese apps in India. So, in this case, is China trying to suggest that it is a bigger well-wisher of the Indian tech industry than Indians are themselves? Well, this is the same Chinese newspaper which is yep. known for its frequent tones and provocative language oh, against India. So vile. This is one example. Recently, the newspaper even had words like stupid and foolish in one of its articles in relation to India. So, realistically speaking, will India be in trouble if China stops investing in the Indian tech industry or if the ban on Chinese nope. apps remains permanent? Well, experts believe that in short to mid-term, the industry might face some hiccups, but in the long term, if India really wants to create large-scale employment and have its own global apps, it must start thinking big that and have correct. a solid long-term vision. And as far as the Chinese app companies are concerned, they must be hoping that sure. this ban is not permanent. After all, without India, their mm. dream of global conquest might yep. just remain a dream forever. In case you want to learn how China impacts the Indian entrepreneurship scenario from a big picture perspective, then you must watch this episode as well. So, um... I would say, India, you are doing absolutely the right thing. And it is worth any sort of short-term hiccup to realize the long-term goal. Learn from America's mistake. 
American presidents decided it was a good idea to outsource our almost our entire supply chain to a communist country. Who hates us. Who hates us. That has been a disaster, um, which has been laid bare by what's going on with the coronavirus. So take, coronavirus. take a lesson from America's failure and uh, cut your losses now. And yes, start investing in India now. So um, that way you don't have to go down the same painful path that we have had to go down. And only now with Donald Trump as our president, he's trying to claw things back from the CCP. So learn from our, uh, from our mistakes and um, make in India. That's a very, very good thing. Um, I would say that obviously the Chinese uh, government is concerned. They're very worried about it. So that means you're on the right path. Um, and when Carolina was talking about how, you know, they kind of speak out of both sides of their mouths, it is the Chinese media, uh, the CCP, um, and she was uh, putting up uh, quotes there from Global Times. Some troll was on our channel the other day um, putting links, and it was for the Global Times. Get out of here. Me? No, the, the troll, oh, the troll that leave. thought that somehow we're going to be like, yeah, let's read the Global Times. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. And hit the bell. Hit, hit the bell. Bye. Hello, guys. This is Kareem. I hope you're doing well. And as you know, the professor has resisted Patreon for a long time. But now is the time for Movie Community College to offer Patreon. And you may be asking, why now? Well, for several reasons. One, we want to make documentaries, and those have a cost to them. Two, we want to make short films, and those also will have a cost to them as well. Three, we're going to take legal action, all the proper precautions to do reaction videos. So if you're excited about this and you want to get some amazing swag from Movie Community College and some awesome rewards, then definitely help support Movie Community College by checking out the Patreon link below this video.